Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to my channel Cam Explorer love your life and uh, I had been away for a week I think in the middle but I did compensate with some other topic related to the Valentine I feel hopefully you would have gone through that uh, video hopefully you have might have liked it and uh, tonight is also the Shahadat of Musa Kaz Musa Ibn Jafar So we I did went to the Majlis and then seriously got tired because my uh, second child you know, is not sleeping. So I have to make him sleep and I will tell you the time it's almost four o'clock now in the morning. So as soon as I finish this video, I really have to grab something to eat before I continue my fasting. In fact, I Alhamdulillah, I'm blessed. I started last week my fasting, and with the blessing of 20 years of fasting, uh, tonight is going to be my night nine, ninth day of fasting. So if I count from Wednesday. Till Tuesday, that will be seven days. It will be Wednesday, which is yesterday. Uh, in fact, day before yesterday. Uh, in fact, it's a ten day. So there we go, guys. So before I waste more of your time, let's get straight into this video. This is Kiama Explorer. I love your life, and we are going to be talking on communication skill. This is the most vital skill that you need to achieve. So let's get started. Assalamu alaikum guys. Thank you so much for joining this video. This video means a lot to me. It's a very, very special video. It's based on communication skill. How you communicate. How you communicate to your family. How you communicate to your friends how you communicate to your relatives around relative in terms of family extending fam uh, uh, family i should say how you should behave because you know when it comes to real family extend family you know you feel like not much talking to them as soon as you know your parents will force you talk to your blah 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 you know uh, their so-called relative and you're like no i don't want to talk you know all this because there is a family bond gap i should say because what happens in india pakistan or other countries where normally you're living like a big group uh, what happens then their communication skills are better than for those who want to live their own life you know they don't want to be attracted to us or they don't want to be dependent on someone else because with you know with all these conditions politicians destroying the countries and this is how you in those countries normally you live uh, you live together in such a way that there is no burden on families like especially uh, they live with their parents you know but western culture don't adopt such things because Western culture have their open mind thinking. Their open mind thinking is to live on basis on maturity level. That is, their mature level is called you know be self independent. Self independent means you know you you just work. You have your family. And that's it. They don't even consider their uh, their children. You know, as soon as they grow up, eighty, kick them out, and that's it. This is their lifestyle. What they do, then they have to struggle. Definitely, everyone have to struggle in life. This is the problem with uh, uh, with other countries against the Western culture. Why 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 Western culture is so developed? You know. Uh, I just want to, I didn't even start my topic yet, you know. So, uh, I feel communication skill, you know, plays a major role. Because if you live in such a country where there are no hopes, definitely you want to get engaged to something, you know. 
and communication skill plays a very very major role in these in, in everything you cannot judge someone based on their face uh, what do you call all these uh, races uh, or you know their looks their likes their culture religion especially you know western culture don't believe in such religion they only believe, you know they have uh, Christianity, Jews, and all these, but Western culture, what they do is they believe in something, but they do totally opposite. We, we Muslims, you know, when we migrate from other country for our own safety, we are very unfortunate uh, that we, uh, we, uh, we Shias, you know, I've seen personally uh, Pakistan uh, from Pakistan people come. And really struggle, you know. Communications, uh, we we lack a lot, but we are blessed with. We hope uh, for our future to be brighter, because when we migrate from one country to the other, we want our communication skill to be much much more positive. Way. The reason for communicating with other people, uh, it open up the mind actually, because there are some people. Uh, you know well you know all the time I should say uh, especially with uh, well Alhamdulillah now during these sort of generation time the gap between you know communication uh, skill now that uh, in fact I will tell you a quick point before I continue my dad actually you know once he said when uh, Pakistan had the independence I was also thinking about the same point as my dad you know that uh, uh, was the name of the first uh, president, uh, Muhammad Ali Jinnah. He should have uh, uh, put a religion as uh, in oh sorry, not the religion. Sorry, I am talking about the language. It should have made compulsory as English language. You know that would have that might have kind of really supported. You know the English because. For us, we need to speak English, you know, especially uh, it will be better for all those people who are migrating from India, Pakistan to such countries like Canada, America, Australia and, uh, you know, Netherlands and Iceland, all, all such countries, you know. So, this will actually would have really, really helped. Uh, to engage but alhamdulillah I've seen a lot of people have come and they have established themselves which is quite good uh, more moreover I feel communication skill matters right from day one the uh, day one you are born basically communication skill gets better and better if uh, you know especially talking to other people for example when you grow up, you know, you interact with your social community members. You have your uh, community friends around. Then uh, then you have all these workers working with you around. And a as the days goes by, as, as you get mature and mature, you get, uh, your, com uh, your communication skill automatically gets better. Uh, I, I actually remember myself. You know, uh, when I uh, joined, uh, not joined, sorry, when I came to Australia back in 2002, I did my HSC and then from TAFE and uh, phew, didn't really feel like studying anymore. So, one, as I think I've told this before, one of my uncles told to join some security, you know, it was a bit of weird security then you know all this com uh, communication skill really helped me because uh, my parents put me in a school not me only it's my other brothers all three brothers including me we went to high school which is uh, St. Paul's English High School there our English was getting much much better because all the teachers you know we actually had two uh, things uh, one in the morning and one in the afternoon afternoon was the Eng English one so our so our background mainly or our 
uh, even though there was Urdu too, there was Slavic classes and things like that, but it was all Sunni based though, you know, I, I'm surprised, sorry, it just clicked my mind, I thought I will go, you know, <laughs> I feel ashamed, you know, of these such things. Uh, in the school, you know, we were taught, you know, uh, prophet, you know, the last prophet of ours, you know, when he left the world, he only left with two things, uh, with uh, prayer, five times a day prayer, and the holy book. I was like, you know, just for that blink of an eye, you know, you really think, really, really, did that really happen? And then, you know, when I get actually more mature, when I came to know that to anybody, then it clicked my mind, yes, that's the thing. Because in my mind, that element was stuck somewhere. So this is what I think, even so you, I'm going to kill you, all of you who taught me this rubbish, you know. Uh, rubbish is, uh, you know, Namaz is Vajib, that's fine. But saying Quran and removing element, you learn your own language from the Quran and you go to hell to yourself. Why are you teaching us rubbish, you know? So they just think, you see, co communication, you know, they are trying to fool you. They will, uh, so you need to stay away from such people. Always be truth. Speak the truth from your mouth, always. See, in past, in past, if you do something bad in your life, and you have a bad communication skill and you have full of lying, lying and lying and you are teaching the world and you know they are very much extended in this world. You know, truth will always uh, speed up so fast in the community centers everywhere. So the truth will very slowly and gradually spread. By the time you know truth is spread, already lies are done, already you know a lot of religion have been created based on full of lies. Uh, you have to find your religion based whether it's really true or not. You know why? Because in the past people have been lying and making up so many stories. You know how you have all these different books coming up, all these different, in India itself you are going to be amazed. Forget about the religion, the languages. So after few, uh, after few distances within India, uh, you have different languages. I'm like, wow. By the, you can't even, you know, you're sick of, you know, you are already sick of uh, talking English all the time when your mother tongue is completely different already. This is uh, mainly I'm talking about the tourists and uh, all those who want to live a peaceful life in Western culture, especially talk about those people. You know, you are already stuck with this thing. Then we find our own community people. We feel so, you know, happy. It's not because if your country is getting better and better in communication skill, this is the pro or this is the problem, you know. When we try to communicate, when we try to solve issues, this lie from right from our uh, back, which we have never seen, which we have never trusted, we just, for example, we have to trust God, okay, that's fine. Now that we are living in such a country, you know, finding truth and because communication skill is what? communicate you have to talk to someone you see you need to find the truth the problem is we don't really find the truth we always find the negativity in everyone you know see the truth is we want to spoil we we love backbiting this is the problem you know uh, this is genuine this is with everyone they do it but they don't really come in the front this is the problem if you come in the front and start saying the truth, you no know one's going to kill or bite you or do anything, you know. But the problem is they do backbiting and then what happens? Then when the time comes when something else is biting them, you know, uh, this is the problem here. Then they, re then they realize their mistake and then rather than communicating and 
creating those issues uh, not sorry not creating those issues, but they make it double triple the by the time they do it it's already destroyed the community is destroyed everything is getting destroyed so always be truth so whenever you speak to a person always tell the truth always say good words to someone always be nicer to them this is the problem we know it's just being inside the community doing religious stuff it's part of it yes that is absolutely if you don't do it then how will the world know the truth for example i went to bajnis okay uh, i hardly go to bajnis you know i i am walking you know we on weekends i am already booked with work so it's very rarely you guys will live with those community people watching me hopefully you know you will forgive me for that so you go to the community center you uh, you say the truth that how our imams were be killed an example how we do that we take out our uh, you know our anger and all this we just keep it to ourselves this is the problem by the time it comes out you know uh, already there are people sitting and making fun of it this is the worst habit of communication nobody likes to make fun no religion no religion sorry guys just give me two seconds yeah so no religion has right on other religion to insult even though a lot of religion are based on lies this is the thing when when it's a lie it's a lie you can't say we are perfect unless we prove prove ourselves and one of the skills of improving is how you behave how you talk the moment you start talking anything to someone or outside the family zone i'm not talking about the family family you can chill out you can talk you know all jokes this and that but when it comes to seriousness of speaking in a group of strangers always say the truth you know uh, always uh, crack some jokes around but not in a time it is not supposed to be you know if someone is talking a example of talking in a group someone is talking something serious from outside someone comes and make fun of it is that communication is that the skill the uh, you will love to see no no one likes to see yes there are ways to improve those skill uh, that person can maybe wait see as soon as that uh, major topic stops or just for a break it will stop then you can do the start conversation and see if you can uh, you can interact this is the problem we don't interact but we want to interact in such a bad way you know your impression get worse than ever so uh, so in a group we talk uh, we talk to ourselves as well the 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 thing i feel here is that you should be always be true to yourself to myself for example if i am talking to you i am not going to make up stories you know i am not going to say you know uh, i did something for example if i say if i say for example i am a billionaire which i will never be which is the truth anyway so guys uh, i am a billionaire i'm sitting and i'm going to give you billion uh, i'm going to give you like 100000 each of you i will be getting uh, you know lot, hundreds of us please give me this and then you know i will say it's a joke and by i will reply you as a, oh, it was a joke uh, you know i am not even a billionaire all the all the reply i will straight away get is full of swearing full of liar we are i'm not going to see your face again and you know your parents are like this this blah blah what just based on one lie you you will be insulted you will be but what can i say about uh, you the communication it's really plays a major role guys you need to understand without communication uh, you can not uh, give your point of view unless if it's there to be proven so i will give an example you know uh, 
if you're talking to if you want to talk to someone and if that person is busy you know uh, so do we keep on really annoying that person no we don't really annoy them please help me help me. you ask them you uh, way of communication is like you take time and you ask them when is the best time to meet you or when are you free uh, is there any possibility if you can give me some time uh, so example of especially youngsters you know they are very energetic you know they just want their way example of my own child you know you know i was about to start to pray i did my azan akhavan i was just waiting for that and you know saying allah and starting that prayer i just switched off the tv you know and I, he was full of crying you know what can i do you know in that communication i really had to switch it off because if i don't teach my child when prayer time i will give you a very simple example even that uh, alhamdulillah i'm going to be cheer this one so you will like this example i switched on uh, my phone because my phone was somewhere i was looking for my whole time you know so i saw my phone and there was a game uh, you know there are four nation ladies soccer matches there and i will be working on 19th i think i will be working on 19th of february so what one, one of those games they came straight away on my phone and i was about to watch the match see communication skills you know within yourself when you talk you should be you should be so uh, you should say to yourself in such a way that your communication skills get so strong within yourself see when i saw that ladies game also i was really excited i really wanted to see the match on the tv i told to myself no today is the shahadat i'm not going to watch the match i'm uh, all it uh, well i would not go i'm going to leave the other one so this is why because i had the maturity level of thinking in such a way for children it's a diff- for a different story because my child is not uh, because he won't be as good in communication skill but he's going to cry and he's going to say it was very important you know i can't live without tv uh, so this is part of it guys so communication you know i had to shut down the tv i had to tell him sorry prayer is more important for me that match was not important because of the shahada so i have to wait the whole day i i, I haven't even seen the score yet so i don't even bother because i'm more excited to go watch the uh, hopefully watch the depending if i get the chance work there enjoy myself and also get paid halal pay and i'm not doing anything around that you know i'm just doing my work there so yeah so community skill so as soon as my child grows he will uh, this is the most exciting part if you are a father in communication skill you know what happens when the child grows up you know my my child I take an example he cried and he went away but when he start growing up he will start learning all the time i'm switching off that phone oh sorry not the phone uh, the tv i'm talking about so he will realize later on you know that to oh but he she definitely going to think about himself and he will talk to himself my father always switch off the phone whenever he's uh, on the prayer so he will always think he will because he knows that that's the prayer time and he will think that said so next time when he get more picture 3 4 5 he is roughly if he is around that age he will be develop much more and then he will automatically go to start praying alhamdulillah well we say that you know uh, if father is and mother if they pray regularly on time i really try my 100% to pray right on time especially weekdays i am free so i really pray on time and all well fasting you know when he really grows up it to his late teens or maybe to his 20s he will definitely fast as well so uh you know he will, well i pray all the time my my wife also prays all the time so which is absolutely beautiful so he will definitely you know this mind connection is there 
he will talk to him. See, we need to understand that communication skill is a part of it. Why? Because if you talk to yourself and if you make a, a decision based on what is good and what is right, automatically whenever you speak, he will ask questions. So my son, when he grows up, he will definitely ask questions. Why this? Why that? Why? How did this happen? Why did this happen? In this case, it is father and mother's responsibility to never lie. So why? Because if you say something when and when he grows up, if he mature, and he come out to the dad, you know, at that time you lied to me, you know, you shouldn't. So you know, you feel embarrassed to yourself. See, when we grow up, we learn from our parents. Uh, we adopt their uh, communication skill. That is the way they talk to each other, the way they behave, the way they interact. So, uh, remember, if parents are good to their children, when the children grows up, you know, when they go out to the school and uh, they, the way they talk to each other will be much more better if the parents are good to e each other. That's the point of communication skill. So that way, if your parents are talking much more the nicer way, the polite. See, uh, I I have personally felt that the Western culture, all these uh, Christianity, uh, well, all all these people who who are not Muslim, for example, who basically are in the uh, this, they have this very soft way of speaking, and I'm really impressed, you know. We have this excitement of talking a lot. Well, I might I might be wrong if I, you know, because it doesn't mean that you might be speaking very politely. So I do apologize if I'm making a mistake. Yeah. So I I really feel all these uh, uh, people, especially living in the Western, they have this wonderful way of speaking. But our culture is different. Our way. Even we sleep very late, all these Indian parts, we sleep very, very late. Uh, well, with children, I don't even sleep, you know, some of these night. So, I would really love to uh, sleep on time. So, so guys, communication skill is also, uh, is, uh, I was just taking one more very major point. Uh, remember always, uh, when a child goes out, and if he talks nicely and politely, uh, there is a reflection from your parents to the children. And from children, it actually, you know, it just spreads out. The way we speak, if we speak nicer, it's better for us because our children will learn the same thing. If we keep on fighting every day and night, we should do this, we should do this. This is what our children will adopt, you know. Uh, so, if, so, uh, uh, as I might have actually even told you before, so, you know, in the beginning of, always remember, if you have children, just change your habit of your communication skill to a better level. Always be polite, always be understanding to your spouse. So if you understand your spouse and you live a very happy life, automatically your children will adopt same thing and they will love to have a future like that as well. Uh, hopefully you have liked this video. I didn't really talk much on the communication skill because all the major point that was supposed to be on my computer, I didn't even open it and I have started talking to you guys. So if you like this video, if you liked any part of this video, please give us a thumbs up, share this video and subscribe. I'm going to have some food. Give me, I got about seven minutes to eat my food because I have to fast. Thank you so much. I will see you in my next video. Bye.